and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. The three most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. I just realized, Brad, our, what's the giveaway? Is it Thermotex? Oh, okay. Thermotex. Today we're going to talk about five exercises all seniors should do daily. Mm -hmm. By seniors, we mean not seniors in high school. We mean people <laughs> that are maybe a little more mature. 50 and older, perhaps. Like us. Mm -hmm. Like us. By the way, if you are new to our channel, please take oh, a second yeah. to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, if you get a chance, go to bobandbrad.com. We're always doing. We're always giving something away. This week, we're giving away a Thermotex. I'm going to grab it real quickly here. Oh, I'm still talking. He, he forgot it over there. Yep, this is a Thermotex infrared heating system. I actually have it attached to the pillow that I use at night, Brad. I put this right behind my back. And I put this, I plug that thing in. When he's and, in his recliner. When I'm in my recliner. And this gives out deep heat, not just superficial heat, mm. deep heat. So that's what the difference between that is and regular heat. Gets into those muscles. Yeah. Go to the giveaway section, sign up for it, or you can sign up for it. Uh, you'll find it on Facebook. It'll be pinned at the top of the page. Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. Five exercises. I try to think about which exercises I think people should have. It's essential, Brad. Well, that hat looks good on you, Bob. Yeah, well, I, well, I did this in honor of my dad. My oh. dad, when he was, uh, well, he actually, uh, throughout most of his life, he was he's bald. Yeah. He was bald, yeah. and he wore a hat. So I'm like, oh. And Father's Day is coming up. That's so right. Father's Day is coming up. The first exercise, I feel there had to be one posture exercise. Oh, sure. You know, Everybody's struggling with posture. We mm. got we deal with it all day long. We got to think about it all the time. And as seniors, if your posture gets poor, yeah. your balance automatically gets worse. It starts they, to throw they, you they, off. They work together. Your breathing, your pain levels. Mm -hmm. Do you want to show a ball first, Brad? Or I'm going to show different options oh. on on different posture ones you could do. Just pick one, but we're going to show you a few options. So if you get a ball, you know, maybe for your grandkids, a, a softer one, actually, a, a half flat one like this one is works better. It's more comfortable. Um, you know, a soccer ball that's blown up or basketball will not work. Uh, so we're going to take that ball and put it here. You might need some help, you know, if you can reach back like this. And don't get it too low on your back. It's like between the shoulder blades. And whatever feels good. Everyone's a little different. And I'm going to lean back. going to stretch like this so the ball supports that mid-back and then we're going to think about wrapping your shoulders right around the ball with your arms like this you can do bob's patented alleluia stretch if you'd like to and just stretch and relax make sure you breathe deep breath in and exhale do that three to five times uh, and just keep the ball handy uh, so you can do that a couple three times a day and you can move it up and down to different spots. Sure. And by the way, we got to give credit to our cameraman, uh, Mike. Mike. Who, he invented this. Yeah. And Mike is a, a physical therapist assistant. Yeah. He's on the channel. He's behind the camera. Yeah, he's behind the camera. Yeah. He looks better back there. So next one, another uh, one. Brad, I'll take that one too, actually. What, you want the chair? I mean, yeah, you can actually do it without a ball, too. You can do what we call a chin tuck. I'm going to take the head oh, off. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can do a chin tuck. And then grab your neck here and bring your elbows up and bring them back like this. Ah, yes. So if you don't have anything, you know, the ball with you, you can do chin tuck, elbows up, spread them apart. It's like a butterfly opening its wings. So then you start to look up at the end a little bit? Look up at what? The ceiling at the end a little you bit. You can do that if you want yeah. to, sure. If your shoulders are tight or you have arthritic shoulders and you, you can't reach back like that, just do the best you can. Um, and, and it's, you know, it's a good range of motion for them as well. So either one of those is fine. I'll give you one more. You can do the wall angel. You're looking at my hat down there, Brad. Well, I didn't know if you were going to do the hat dance. So we're going to go ahead. My hat's still in the way. <laughs> so you can do a wall angel. So this is nice because it gets you everything lined up. If you can't get your head all the way back, go as back as far as you can and Make note of it. Maybe the next day you'll be able to get further. Sure. So you're going to do wall angels. And I'm trying to keep my shoulders up and arms against the wall as long as possible. This one's starting to come out. Boy, you act like it hurts. Well, it does. 
I'm really working, struggling to keep this one back. If they, any of these create any sharp pain, you don't want to do them. That's for sure. So just that stretch, stretching feeling we're looking for. All right. So those are three variations. You don't have to do all three. We want you to do just one because we're doing five exercises. Oh, Next yes. exercise, squats. Oh, yes. You need that leg strength. In fact, we find a lot of people who have those automatic electric chairs that help them stand up. Yeah. They get so weak, they can later can't even stand up at all. Sure. So it's good to start with a chair. Brad's going to go ahead and jump into it. Um, you can also so, uh, use the arms of the chair if there's arms. Yeah, we don't have arms, but you can push off. So are we going to show the sit-to-stand yeah. version? Yeah. So look, I, I, I'm not right leaning back. real far forward. You can put your hands here on your legs to push up if that's easier for you. If you're strong enough and you can do them like this, that is, you know, that's great. But if, if you're not, hands on the armrests or on here. And how many do you, do you feel they should start out with? Well, what they really could tolerate, I'd like to see at least five. Sure. Ten would be better. Right. And you may need to build up to that if you, you know, have been uh, working out much lately. Right. Another way to do this is against Ooh. the wall. You put the oh. ball against the wall. If you have one of these, these balls are inexpensive. So this is a little more advanced. Yeah, a little um, more, but I think it's, it's kind of nice because it gives you support. Right. And you can keep the legs in the right position. Right. And you can just roll up and down like this. Yeah, it's very smooth. Yeah. Uh, a word of warning, though, you have to make sure that your feet, like if you got stocking feet and you're on a smooth Slippery shore, surface, yeah. your feet will slip out. So uh, make sure your feet are gripping well to the carpet yeah, or the even, floor. Like you said, even carpet, you would slide. Right. So, yeah. And I'm going to show you one more, Brad. We're, we're going to be really complete here today. I'm actually posture squats. These are the ones I do. I get okay. my legs quite far apart. Yep. I bring my arms up overhead like this, and I squat down like this so, at the same time. So I'm really working all the postural muscles while I'm doing this. Sh show them the incorrect one if you go forward too far. Yeah, we don't want that. Think about looking up towards yeah. the ceiling. And really keeping good posture. The back should be nice and straight the whole time. That's the purpose of doing a posture squat. And don't worry about getting really deep. Right. Because we don't want you to fall. You're going to get... Plenty of exercise in a comfortable range. All right, exercise number three. Brad, as you start getting older, and this is one that I have started doing, believe it or not, when I run, is I need, you need to work on some lateral movement. Oh, uh, that's true. Very true. So you, if you're if you're a little bit older and a little more worried about falling, use a countertop right. to, to hold on to, right. and you're going to work on Doing some lateral movement. So lateral movement means side to side, right to yeah. left. And, you know, if you're really, if this is way too much, you could even do behind a chair, just start doing some hip abduction, going like this. You know, that's, but I'd really rather have you do the movement. Do the movement at a counter top right. is really a nice option. If you want to get more advanced, you could do the karaoke, where you go forward. Ooh. Back. If you've had forward. a hip replacement, be careful yeah. on this one. But what I do is I'll run forward, and then every so once in a while, I'll just do some side to side like this. Believe it or not, this is really how my balance. What ran. does your wife say? Well, You're a, down here. No, 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 no. I do it out when I'm running outside. Oh, so the neighbors are no, watching. No, but you. I pick the areas where nobody's watching. Yeah, right. I'm serious. There's like a view, like the spots, like no, there's nobody there. Yeah. Well, and that's good. Yeah. No, I. this is really helping, Brad. Let, let's get on. Okay, up. next, number four. Again, the ankle. A lot of your balance comes oh. from the ankle. So we're going to do mm -hmm. a, uh, heel and toe raises. So grab to the back of the chair. I'm going to raise up my heels. Look down here. Raise up my toes. I would say the ankles are one of the first things to weaken as people get older. I, I don't yeah. know that for sure, but I, I just know people when they get into their 60s and 70s oftentimes have weak ankles. Yes, yes. And the, and the proprioception, the, the, where it's at, gets thrown off. The nervous system, yep. the feedback, yes. Yep. So that's number four. Ten of those is a good number. Yes. And you can do it throughout the day if you want. Number five, we've got to do at least one exercise because, you, you know, when you're working out through the day, you're going to push things and you got to have some strength. So I want you to do some wall push-ups. Yeah. Or knee push-ups or full push-ups, depending on what you can do. So first, we'll show the wall push-ups. Yeah, if 
if you're unable to get down or you know you're not very strong, this is the perfect place. Yeah, Brad's oh, going to do them over get... there. I could come over here and do them over here. And kind of keep your elbows in. Don't let them flare out like this. Keep them in kind of to your side like that. That's how you properly do a push-up. Yep. All right. And, you know, if you're not enough strength, you could be end up banging your head against the wall. Yeah, we don't want to wreck the wall. Now, the other thing, like, this works out well. We've got a countertop here or a little, uh, uh, a little lower, a little lower tougher. shelf. That yep. makes it a little bit harder. That's how yep. you can progress it. And if this gets too easy, you're, you know, doing 10, 20 of these. Then you're going to get to the knee. Down. Yep. Now down. watch your posture. and yes. Bob, we don't want to have any like embarrassing this, I'm, moments here. I'm going like this. I'm keeping my posture. Oh, that's right. I got to go like this. How's yes. that? Yes. There you go. So he's on his knees now. And, you know, there's probably some of these seniors that are really fit. They, they might do their typical GI push-up, I call them. Well, got to breathe, them, right? So. Yeah, make sure you breathe with all your exercises. How many you want me to do, Brad? Well, I want to Count do, do 100. Uh, <laughs> You've been a bad boy. No, uh, get up, Bob. All people right. are getting bored. All right. So that's, that's it. That's, that's five. That's five. So we showed options for each one. So, right. you know, pick them out and see how it works for you. Uh, these are definitely going to help your balance. They're going to help your posture. They're going to help your strength. Uh, it's what we need as we the continue. The full package. Yep, it is. Thanks for watching.